Hey guys, this is D Flash, and I've got another video for you. Uh, this time around, I'd like to take a look at Collision and how we can use it to build our own drum racks. So, what I'm going to do is start out with dragging a drum rack onto this MIDI track, and we'll drag Collision. And first, we'll start by building our kick drum. So, let's just rename this. And right now, doesn't sound much like a kick drum so. so let's take a look at collision and see what we can do okay so the way that collision works is you get two sound generators one is called the mallet sound generator and the other one is called noise and what they're supposed to do is synthesize the sounds of actual drums and then when what happens is those signals are sent to the resonators and the resonators are what actually generates the sound as far as how it affects how it's um, reacting to the sound from the sound generators so if we turn off the resonator right now you'll hear nothing there's not much there there's nothing there. So the resonators is what actually generates your sound. So what we'll do is to start with our drum track or our kick drum. We'll bring the noise down and we're gonna take this resonator and pitch it down three octaves. So we're already getting a little bit more of a deeper sound. And then what we'll do is just see here. All right. OK, so now we're going to change the resonator type to tube. Now that's sounding a bit right, better. So now we'll just track out a 4 4 kick. Alright. We'll mess with the K a little bit. One, two. And our radius. And that's sounding a lot closer to a synthesized drum. And now what we can do is turn on the second resonator. And bring that down 24 sem semitones. Now they're kind of playing with each other on that. We'll bring the decay down for this one. And the radius. And we can bring down the voices to mono. OK, so there's our kick. drag collision back onto this next one rename it snare and for this one we're actually going to add the noise sound generator also Sorry about that. Let's just move this here. Okay. So right now you see without the resonator it's not doing anything. What we're going to do is put a high pass filter on our noise generator. 
set it to about oops 1200 and bring up the resonance a little bit or the width and we're gonna change this resonator mode to membrane and we'll bring the decay down and bring the material down bring up our left channel volume and bring up the hit now we're starting to get something now what we can do is also bring up our attack or I'm sorry not our attack our decay and our sustain and bring the release down just bring the volume up a little bit so you can hear Maybe we'll pitch it up a little bit. And this one we can also bring the voices to mono. Actually two, sorry. Okay, now let's move on to our hi-hats. So we'll drag collision onto there. Start out by just setting our voices to two. Rename this to hi-hat. And what we're gonna start, we're gonna have a mallet and a noise. We're gonna use a high-pass filter on it. Set it to 2000 hertz. And we'll set the width up a little bit. We'll add some noise to the mallet. We're going to bring the stiffness down. Raise the attack and the decay. And let me add some hi hats too here so we can hear them. And that doesn't quite sound like hi hats yet, but we'll get to there. We'll start by adding a pitch envelope. Bring the time down. I just want to show you what the difference is with the stiffness. We'll leave it around there. And here's with the noise off and with it on. Okay, so we're going to change this resonator to a plate, which has a much different sound and sounds a bit closer to a hi hat. We're going to bring the decay all the way down. Turn the material up a little bit. Bring hit all the way up. We're going to bring left and right all the way up. Okay. 
And now we're going to add a second resonator and set that to plate also. We're going to bring the ratio up on this one. Bring the decay down. Turn the material up again. We're going to bring this one to 90%. So that's a little different than the other one. And then we're going to change this to 1 plus 2. Okay. Let's just open this up a little bit. We're going to change down and this we're gonna turn down a little bit okay and now we're going to bring in some toms and we're gonna put our toms on a1 and a sharp so we'll start out with the first one this one we don't need any noise because we want it to be kind of a deep sound and we're going to set it to a membrane resonator and we'll just click in our toms oh forgot to do one thing let's rename this okay I mean, that already sounds pretty good, but let's tweak it a little bit, make our own. Okay, so we brought down the decay and added the material to it. We'll bring up our left volume and our right volume. Let's add a little pinch envelope to it. Add some stiffness and add some color. And we're going to change the membrane to basic. And bring up the volume quite a bit. Now we're going to make a second cut tom, we'll name this tom 2, and this one's going to be similar, we'll bring the noise down just a little bit, turn the color up, and let me put this one in. bring the stiffness up a little bit more we're going to tune this one down a bit add a pitch envelope we're going to change this to membrane make it a basic Turn up the ratio a bit. And then bring the decay down. Add some material to it. Bring up our left and right volumes. And then bring up the overall volume. OK. 
Okay, and that's pretty much how you get started with Collision and just start tweaking some settings and figuring out how to get the sounds you want. Uh, if you have any questions or even if you have some tips on how you use Collision to create your own drums, uh, please leave them in the comments and um, hopefully we can come up with some cool ideas. If you have any questions, again, just leave them in the comments and also make sure you subscribe. And thanks for checking out the video.